prom makeup look. It's pretty um, dramatic and it also featured Dulce K by Kylie in here so I'm really really excited to show you guys this whole look. It's pretty put together and I really love it. Of course when I was babbling my camera battery died but like I said enough babbling let's just go ahead and get right into the video. First I'm going to take my primer and then this sample of Kat Von D that I got when I was at the makeup show. Put that together on my brush and then go ahead and start dabbing that on my face. Um, make sure it's all blended up into your ear and everywhere just so that it's a better process and it will look better since you don't want any lines when you're at prom and you don't want anything to look messed up or messy. So I'm going to be taking my NYX concealer and going ahead and putting that under my eye and on the key points of my face. And then taking a um, better concealer, it's the Master Conceal by Maybelline, and putting that also under my eyes just to conceal a little bit more. And now I'm taking my NYX stick and that has my contour and my highlight with it and going ahead and doing a wet contour highlight just for a base so when I actually go in and highlight and contour, it'll have a base for it. And yes, I'm doing my nose and everywhere. Since it's prom, I'm kind of going more all out with the contour and highlighting. Uh, you want more of a flawless face, especially when you're going to prom, because this is a big event, so you want to make sure that everything is covered. And now I'm doing my eyebrows. I have a routine on that already in a video, so you can go ahead and check that out. So I'm just going to skip all that. And now you want to take a wet or damp beauty blender and go ahead and blend everything out. I'm going to be baking and baking is when you take a translucent powder and set it on the places that you concealed. And so I'm taking my translucent powder by NYX and putting that on the sides of my face and letting it set so that's what baking is called. So you're going to let it set or bake. And now I'm going to be adding tape to the sides of my eyes for my eyeshadow and my eyeliner. I'm taking my Sedona Lace palette and taking these three colors here and doing my outer V because it makes a very nice pinky, purpley, brownish color with all those colors mixed together. I'm taking this darker plum color and putting that on the outer V so it has a little bit more of a dramatic darker look. taking tees by Naked 2 and just blending everything out. This is a great transition color and I use this for almost everything. Now I'm taking this champagne white color and also this pink champagne color and putting that as my base color on my eyelid. Now I'm taking this champagne white color and putting that more on my inner corner. And then putting on my eyeliner. I also have a video on that. I can also link that for you. And now I'm taking my e.l.f. translucent powder and putting that all over my face and also blending in my baking that I have just so everything's all blended out. And as you can see, it makes it kind of like a highlight because it's lighter there. So it makes it look nicer and it's all now blended out and it's going to look great. Now I'm contouring with my Hoola bronzer, just putting it on the sides of my cheeks, my forehead, um, under my chin, my nose, just like how I did when I wet contoured. I'm just going to blend everything out, no lines, you really want it smooth and clean. taking my NYX blush and just putting that on the apples of my cheeks. I really love this one. I use this one a lot. Um, it's just a really pretty color. After all this time, always. I'm taking my Illuminating Palette by Wet n Wild. You see my face there. This is the first time I'm using it and it's actually a really nice palette. I just mix all of them together and then it makes a really, really nice highlight, which I really, really love. 
And I'm also just putting that on the, all the places that I wet highlighted just so I have a better highlight. Taking tees and putting that under my lower lash line just for a more dramatic effect. Stila eyeshadow creams and it's called Kitten and I'm putting that on my base of my eyelids. It's just the perfect color for it. I wanted this to be glittery. I, I don't really have glitter which I need to get but this is just perfect. It's a wet glitter so it's not going to move and it's going to stay all night. I'm going ahead and just blending everything out because it did get a little messed up. And these are the mascaras I'm using, the Better Than Sex and then Lights Camouflages by Tarte. I also have a video on that, my eyeliner routine and my mascara routine is in one video, so you can go ahead and check that out, so I'm just going to skip right through that. Now I'm taking my Kylie Jenner Lip Kit in Dulce K. I'm going ahead and lining my lips first, which is very out of frame, so I just kind of skipped that. And then you're just going to go ahead and take the Dulce K and put that on. She says to do a light layer so it's not cakey or makes it chip or cracks. So I did a very light layer of this. It's a pretty dark mauve color which worked perfect with this look. I was going to do Coco K which I also have but I didn't like that. I like how this is darker. Then I went ahead and concealed around my lips just for a cleaner effect. I also used literally gloss and put that on just so it's a more glossy than a matte look. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. It's a perfect prom makeup look. A super dark smoky eye if you have a lighter dress or a darker dress. So I like going simple, but this is great. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully I'll have more prom looks coming up and I'll see you guys in my next one.